Because guys will be like, well, you know, the only consistency you see with vehicle ballistics is inconsistency. And I'm like, yeah, if you shoot five cars, right? But once we shoot 50 or 500 or 5,000, and once we actually start to understand the standards in which they are in place, we see that there's actually very, cons very consistent patterns within vehicle ballistics. Ready? Cool. All right, take a look. All right, take a look. I know that fighting around the car is inherently dangerous, right? Don't tell me all the ways I'm gonna die around a car. Show me the ways I can win. Let's talk about temple index, right? Getting the gun up. There are gonna be times where up is a preferred position um, because compressed or down flags us or somebody else. So uh, come here, Trek. Let me show you, I'll show you up, Trek. Um, so when I was overseas, uh, come on over here, brother. So when I was overseas, uh, we were doing a lot of linear stuff, right? And uh, get to where you guys can see. Um, that's cute. Does your Velcro not stay on? Does it keep popping off or what? We got no. We had a tape. Yeah. We had a tape over the LED. Oh, yeah, it was too bright. bright for the light. Lots of girls. Too bright. Lots of girls have that problem where it's too bright like that. All right. So here's the deal, right? All the Americans, we have we, linear assault, meaning that we are in a tube, right? Train, plane bus, things like that. We want to get the dudes really compressed so that way we can get a lot of man meat on that on that tube all at once. You know what I'm talking about, right? Man meat on the tube, mm, right? So here's the deal. What will happen is guys will take this and they'll go stool right here, right? I don't know what all is down here, but I know it's not good, right? So we've got lower spine, right? Fucking femorals, genitals. We've got aortas just on the other side of that, right? So all bad stuff to shoot, right? So the Europeans were like, fuck it, man. Let's put the gun up here. They call this gun up. This work, is this safe for Trek? Mm -hmm. Sure, right? Is this safe for me? Sure, again, you have to think the environment that we're working in, plane, right? Train, subway, things like that, okay? So I need to be very compressed, right? And then as Trek would bounce off, to either to the right or the left, you just present the gun, or he just kind of Mosley wanders in front of you, right? All right, so as he moves to the little right or the left, we just drive the gun down. The problem with this is, as guys get tired, it goes from a safe direction, right? It's not flagging him not flagging me. We have people that are seated below us, not flagging them, right? The problem is, as I get tired, what happens? It goes from state to, oh my God, what the fuck are you doing, right? So that's what we start to see, right? Also, as guy number one encounters any kind of resistance, right? He, he like stops, yes? Whether it's physical resistance, whether it's a barricade, whether it's sim rounds, whether it's live fire, whatever it is, he stops. What happens to the rest of the pain train? The, best, the rest of the pain train does this, and because we don't have this anchored anywhere, it floats down just into the base of a skull, right? I mean, all the places I want to get hit in the face, the base of my skull is probably not, like getting unplugged from the matrix or something like that. I don't know, right? So uh, so what I did was like, I'm like, hey, let's come up with uh, with a way to solve that, right? So I just did, I just came up with temple index. You can call it whatever the, whatever the fuck you want, right? Um, the reason I call it temple index is because we had to delineate different from it just being gone up. So we have the meaty portion of the thumb, backside of the ear compressed here, right? So it's compressed here. If I'm wearing my ear pro, right? So if we're working on the range or wearing ear pro, it's the meaty portion of the back of the ear compressed against the back of the ear pro, right? So here's the deal. Am I muzzling him? Nope. No. Am I muzzling myself? No. Nope. No. Okay. As he bumps off, right? Boom. Gun just gets presented down and we do whatever we need to do, right? So there's that. You're like, okay, so how does that apply to the car? Let me show you, right? Uh, if Trek is over here inside the car, let me show you this because this is going to be relevant to your interest, right? We have a threat where Jesse's at, right? Jesse's girl. All right, so I want you to take a look at this, okay? So I've got my cert gun. <laughs> my glass. That's another story. It's another unfortunate story about glass and my sphincter. Uh, and a loving story of another dude who got in the shower to take care of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'll tell you about it later on. You say fucking I'll send you pictures. What's that? I said you say fucking firefighters. <laughs> All right, so here's what I want you to take a look at, right? If the threat is an oblique angle, like where Jesse's at, right? How do I get the gun from A to B? So let's take a look at this, right? Is compressed gonna work? No. No. Right? I can't just be like if 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 um if if Trek is getting lit up. Let's say Trek is my 13 year old girl, my 13 year old daughter, right? She has no way to defend herself regardless, right? Or maybe it's a family or family member or friend that has no way to defend himself. If, if, if this person is getting lit up, I can't be like, well, my sector's clear. You tracking <laughs> with me, right? If you and I are working FTO, right? And I'm the rookie and I'm over there fucking getting lit up. You can't just be like, well, 
They can give me a new one. Next. You, you know what I'm saying? Because guess who's going to be next after that? You. You are, right? So probably want to get a gun into that fight, yes? Yes. All right. So is Sewell going to work? Nope. Nope. Okay. So how does how do I get the gun from A to B? In a compressed environment. Compressed environment. Boom. Come to Temple Index, right? Drive the gun out. Burn this guy down. To get back, I come back to Temple Index here, right? And then if I need to, I can get out of the car. Did I flag him at any time? No. Did I flag myself at any time? No. Guys are like, man, if you point the gun up in the air, it's dangerous. And I'm like, cool, show me your reload. And they're like, well, I get it in my workspace. And I'm like, it's still in the goddamn air, air right? And guys are like, well, you know, if you're negligent, right? If you're negligent and you press a round off, you'll send a round to the air, right? Eventually, gravity will take over, pull that round back down. Could it hit somebody? It could, right? Uh, could it kill them? It could, right? Um, it's always going to hit a four-year-old girl. She's never three, never five. It's always a girl, never a boy, whenever people start talking about this, all right? It's always two beers. All right, yeah, so come here. Take a look at this, right? If I'm trying to get around Trek, right? Take a look at this. I don't know why Trek is here. Trek is just here, right? Maybe Trek and I are in a gunfight together. Maybe this is my wife. Maybe this is my kid. Maybe this is just somebody that I'm interviewing. Maybe it's somebody that I'm cuffing up. I don't fucking know, right? If I've got to get around Trek, right, and we're in a compressed environment, think parking lot in between cars, yes? Okay? And I come to a Sewell, I have three options, right? So take a look at this. I can come to Sewell and flag him. Sorry, bro. Then get the gun back into play, right? I can choose to flag myself, which was kind of always our rule of thumb, on, like on the team. But I was like, hey, if I'm flagging anybody. Sure, that shell hell, 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 ain't, ain't me, right? So you can choose to flag yourself. You can over-invert the gun. The problem with over-inverting the gun is, now what am I pointed at? Right, so my my uh, my aorta runs right down here, right, bifurcates into my my um, my femoral, right. So I definitely don't want to be hitting my my aorta, right. Very few people, field wise, know how to take care of that. You start getting injunctions on tourniquets, things like that, right. So I can choose to flag myself, right, get the gun back into play, or I can create enough space and, and distance where neither one of us get flagged, right. So I'm here, neither one of us get flagged, drive the gun around and come back in. The problem with the third option is what. Time and what? Maybe limited space. Yeah, like if I, hopefully I have that enough space, right? So if I'm working in a compressed environment, right, and I've got to get around Trek, what can I do? Because compressed is not going to work, yes? Right. Okay, no matter how far I get off the Trek. So what can I do? Temple index, come across, and then drive the gun back into play. Right, so this is not a searching technique. Guys will, Frank's red hot sauce, they'll, they'll put this shit on everything, right? Hmm. Meaning that I'm not going to search the car right here and be like, all right, car looks clear, right? It's not a it's not a verbal command position. It's not a ready position. All right, shooter's ready, stand by, right? It's not a like, hey, police department, let me see your hands, right? It's none of that. All it is for when compressed or down flags me or somebody else. So how does it look in the car, right? If I don't want to flag people back here, right? For whatever reason, gun comes out, deck the gun, take the seatbelt off, open the car door, come to Temple Index. Come out of the car, and then once I can get the gun back into play, I should probably what? Get the gun back into play. I don't care whether you go down with it. I don't care whether you go up with it. Have a plan, right? Let me